What up YouTube? Welcome back to another Outriders video and today I'm gonna show you another build. The combo between Toxic and Freeze damage is a lot of fun to play with. I opted in the legendary Borealis Monarch set and that does a lot for you and for your teammates. This build holds up a solo CT15 and also can help out your teammates when you are grouping up to take down those CT15s. Thanks for clicking my content, really appreciate you joining me and if you like my Outriders videos and want to help the channel out, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button with that little notification bell next to it to keep informed whenever I post new videos. But are you ready? Let's go! And there we are guys and straight out of the bat I'm gonna show you why we are using the Borealis Monarch Legendary set. The set bonus is active and increases our weapon damage on frozen enemies by 10%. But also the crit damage is increased by 90% for all party members for 8 seconds after cold snap usage. And this is just insane this boosts your damage but the damage of your fellow outriders if you're grouped up with 90 percent crit damage and it does a lot of course giving you that 10 percent extra damage on frozen enemies and that's why we're combining the freeze damage and the toxic damage and man this just shreds so Starting with my vest, bonus firepower, status power, long range is on this legendary set. The Icicle Storm is very, very nice as well because we're killing enemies while frozen. By the skill makes them explode, dealing 252k damage in radius of 5 meters. I opted into Dum Dum Bullets because man, this boosts up my assault rifle as well. I'm opting into assault rifles. You can of course go for a rifle or a sniper rifle, whatever you like. But man, that icicle storm helps out a lot. Of course, we're using that cold snap to get our boost for the 10% on the frozen enemies. And also, of course, getting that extra 90% crit damage. Over to the pants. Bonus firepower, stage power, long range. I opted into Bloodlust, killing shots increase your firepower 17.5k and stacks up 3 times and deteriorates every 10 seconds. And it already has that freezing boost. Boost your damage against the enemies afflicted with freeze by 15%. And then I went for the gloves because I wanted some other headgear i wanted to opt in some different things so i went for the gloves giving us some max health cooldown reduction and long range damage because i'm using that tactical ar i would love to stay at long range so i opted into long range and of course the cooldown reduction to get our skills back as fast as possible so for example for our cold snap usage we can get it back faster and therefore we can get more damage output with that 90 percent extra crit damage shatter already on there dealing 25 percent more damage against enemies afflicted by freeze and then of course with the combination that i went for freezing boost this already gives me a 40 percent damage upon enemies who are frozen doesn't really matter if my skills are freezing them or if my cold snap is freezing them, I'll always get that 40% extra damage up on enemies while they're frozen. And I opted into the third 3 mod, Sharp Eye, killing enemies while aiming down sights, grant you 16k firepower for 20 seconds and also stacks up 3 times. I'm always aiming down my sights, especially with the Technomancer. Of course, you want to get at a distance, then take them out, so... Sharp Eye is one of the best mods to go with. Then for my 
other pieces I just went for toxic leads. I still want to get those toxic rounds, the blighted rounds, infinite. And that's, in my opinion, toxic lead is one of the must-haves on this build if you want to combine the toxic and the freeze then of course firepower long range and close range on there and i chose for damage absorber because yeah we need that armor or at least i need that armor over to my headgear and i opted into ice component and this is another big thing on the build because the turret inflicts freeze instead of toxic now and i'm still want to opt into that blighted turret you can get it back underneath that 6 seconds, every 6 seconds throw it down and through my class points I will get another 40% extra damage output whenever I throw that blighted turret down. So that's why I opted into ice component changing the toxic to the freeze. And of course, went for Captain Hunter, increasing your damage against elites by 25% is one of the best mods to have. Because all these smaller ones have maybe one or two tap needed. But when facing an elite, you need all the extra damage to take them down quickly. And that's why I opted in for Captain Hunter. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the build. Over to the skills, of course, using that cold snap for the defensive and offensive. Because now it also gives us an extra damage output of 90% crit. And of course, getting that 10% extra damage upon frozen enemies. Just like I explained, I went for the blighted turret 5.6 seconds cooldown so you can just throw it down whenever you like it does a little bit damage but it also gives you that extra room to run away or do some extra damage because that blighted turret now does freeze and next to that of course going for the blighted rounds giving us some extra damage output and combining the toxic and the freeze and then of course over to my class points and I went just top 3 pestilence. I still want to do some DPS but I wanted to figure out if we could combine it with that freeze damage. And still this is a lot of fun. You can opt into the middle tree as well going for tech shaman. So you can boost your extra damage up on freeze. But in my opinion this is the best way to go. Still do a lot of DPS and combining the toxic and the freeze damage man this does a lot and of course like i explained empowering antenna activating decay increases weapon damage for you and your allies by 40 percent for 10 seconds while we're throwing down that blighted turret only 5.6 seconds cooldown so we can get a 100 percent uptime of 40 percent extra weapon damage then of course because we changed it, it will freeze every enemy and getting an extra damage up on them as well. Because we rocking that Borealis Monarch. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the build. I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay so you can see what this build can handle. It can shred through the smaller enemies just with one tap. And then of course, that broad mother, the elites it will take it down as well and it's a lot of fun to play with i'm not saying that this is a better or stronger build than just straight up pestilence toxic build but it's something different right we need to test a few things out we need to have fun with this game and not only getting lost in one different set or just one different build I made this because I wanted to know if this is viable as well. Combining the toxic and the freeze upon enemies is a lot of fun. And yes, it does hold a solo CT15. And it does boost your allies with that 90% extra crit damage for over 8 seconds after cold snap usage. And that is just huge. That's why I wanted to show you a little bit of gameplay showing you that this build can hold a CT-15 even solo. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. 
Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button. And of course, the notification bell. Pure Prime out.